All right, guys, so here we are today uh, on a beautiful uh, Wednesday morning, and we're going to make some Japanese pancakes. The main reason is, is my son's been begging for them, and we're kind of uh, here at home today, so we thought we'd take a little time and uh, try to figure this out. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to combine some pancake mix, um, some uh, egg yolks, and sugar. Uh, we're going to uh, whip that up uh, right away and then let that sit uh, so it can kind of uh, aerate a little bit. And then we're going to go to some egg whites, and we're going to create a firm white peak with that, and then we're gonna fold it in delicately. delicately, um, And then we're gonna cook them in these little rings and get some nice, really fluffy pancakes. It should be a ton of fun. So let's get started today. Uh, the first thing we're gonna start with is two egg, uh, two egg yolks. We're gonna get those down in there. We're gonna add in our sugar here. That's a quarter cup. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix that up first, just to incorporate the egg. Just gonna continue, we're gonna mix up our eggs here a little bit. Kinda of give you some consistency. And we're gonna add in our milk. Add about half of that in. About half of our pancake mix there. Continue to mix that up. Finish with the rest of our milk there. And our pancake mix. There you go, there you have it. All right. All right, so the next most important part of this is to do our egg whites. And so we're gonna take a, an electric hand mixer here. We've got four egg whites in here. We use two yolks to four whites. Uh, we're gonna turn our little mixer on here and get this going. It's gonna take a few minutes. I'm gonna blend it kind of a high speed. We're finishing up here with our egg whites. And so just gonna give a little bit more. It's starting to get a little firm. This is what we're looking for. And start incorporating this uh, in our uh, batter here. I'm gonna come right over here and we're gonna use a spatula here to incorporate. So I've got this uh, nice little spatula here from Tavolo, good friends over there. I'm just gonna take our egg whites and I'm just gonna slowly and see how that's got some real body to it. That's what you're looking for. So we're gonna slowly start to fold that in. Nice and easy. It's really nice body to this egg whites here. Just scrape all this in. And that's what's gonna make it fluffy for us today. You don't want to overwork this. You want to fold nice and gently until it's just incorporated. This takes a little bit of patience. Just be kind of delicate while you're working through this a little bit here. I hope this turns out today. We've never made Japanese pancakes, so this will be fun to see how this works out. All right, so now it's time for us to start preparing our pancakes. And what we're gonna use is our, use our four quart saute. It has a beautiful cover. Uh, it's gonna work really well for us in this application. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the pan here a little bit. So I'm gonna get turn this on medium heat and get this up to temperature. We're gonna use a little bit of butter um, at the bottom uh, to help lubricate the pan and help the pancakes come off nice and uh, beautiful. And uh, we've got these little rings here. Um, they're pastry rings. They do a nice job for these pancakes and desserts, small cakes. Uh, they're kind of a handy little tool. You can even do, um, you know, if you wanted to make your own egg McMuffin, you could use these to, to do your eggs um, in your pan. So uh, handy little tools. I certainly can get them at any of our kitchen shops. There's a lot of independent gourmet retailers that certainly have these. So not very expensive, but really, really handy. So, uh, so we're getting this up to temperature here. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and take my rings um, kind of drop those in. <clears throat> I'm going to start with two of them. Um, then I'm going to take a little pat of butter here. And we're just going to drop in a pat of butter uh, per ring. Uh, this two stuck together, so we're just going to tear that apart. Just drop that down in there and let that start to melt. So we got our, our butter in there. We got our rings in there. And so now we're going to take, we're going to put in our pancake mix. So what I like to use is they like to use a one cup, a uh, little measuring cup, nothing fancy to pour my mixture in. So we're just gonna put a little bit in there. I'm just gonna 
pour that in. Get that down in there a little bit. Okay, and that should rise beautifully. And then we're gonna do the same with this other one over here. Get that down in there. And also I've turned this down to pretty much as low as it'd go. I went a little above the simmer stage on this particular burner, but at your house, I wanna cook this on low temperature. Um, and it's gonna take you about 10 minutes. I'll drop this down in here. All right, so I know we've got those full, and you can already see that one's starting to rise pretty good. And so I'm gonna cover this up here, and we're gonna All right, roll so here we time. are. I think we're ready to go. We put a little too much in there when we went to check them. Um, it took about 10 minutes here. Uh, they look, really look quite fantastic. So um, I've got a little spatula here. It's one of my favorite spatula, oh, sorry, turners. Well, it's one of my favorite ones because it's super thin and flexible. Um, I got this from uh, RSVP, but uh, I'm just going to work this right underneath here, just like that. And then we're going to turn this over, um, just like that. And wow, look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely stunning right there? And so let's go ahead and we're going to turn this burner off. And uh, I'm going to take a little, little uh, spatula here and I'll work it right around the edge of that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Put that right down there. So that's our very first one, our very first Japanese pancake. I think the son's going to approve. I bet the daughter even likes it more. And this is a vanilla infused. So we're just going to Drizzle just a little bit of this on it. You certainly could warm this uh, syrup. That's typically what I do. So I'm just gonna add just a little bit of syrup to this. There we go. And we're just gonna take a few strawberries. Lay those on there. Certainly if we had some uh, other berries, I think that would be very appropriate. sugar and maybe just a drizzle more syrup here and there we go so that's the very first ever Japanese pancake and uh, we'll let it we'll try it and let you know what we think so be sure to check us out on our Twitter our Facebook and Instagram um, as we continue to build more of these videos for you guys just showing us some simple things you can do in your home